Good afternoon, YouTubes. It's Christmas break, I'm bored, and I've got these extra cans of spray foam insulation laying around, so you can pretty much guess where this video is going. I've decided to throw caution to the wind and answer all those what if questions I've had about spray foam insulation. This paragon of insulation materials is a polyurethane foam that expands during a chemical reaction when two of its active ingredients get mixed together and exposed to air. Out of all the insulation on the market, this foam is the single most efficient way to piss off the next guy who has to work on plumbing or electrical in your walls. That's why I insist on fiberglass still. But what other uses might this stuff have? What other trouble can we get into by playing with it? If you're an adult, but there's no other adults around, does that count as adult supervision? This video is gonna contain some serious don't do this at home content, but that's what YouTube's great for, watching other idiots hurt themselves so you don't have to. Oh God, that was loud. F oh, it's in my mouth. For my first experiment, my personal homage to the danger cart has seen better days. This is my sole utility for getting firewood back to the house. And somehow, lugging 100 pounds of wood just got a lot more difficult. And I have this ludicrous theory as to why that might be. All attempts at rectifying this situation go about like this. Yep. I just put this wheel on last year and it looks mint. Not a single flaw or defect that might indicate any kind of leak. What can you do? It's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Now, I've seen a few videos of people filling tires with spray foam, but none of them actually succeeded. However, they all had at least one unique clever trick and I'm gonna combine all of them in the pursuit of success. First, they all stick the straw through the valve stem, but you often see foam coming right back out. That's because as the chemical reaction occurs, the air expands and you need a relief hole somewhere for the air to go as the foam fills the tire. That's trick number one. Trick number two, the people who came closest to success all used the foam with the highest expansion coefficient. So I've got the stuff for filling big cracks. Number three, once you get the foam in the tire, you gotta distribute it before it hardens. So I'm gonna pop it back on the axle and use my drill. With any luck, that'll turn the tire into a centrifuge and force the foam out so it spreads evenly inside the tire. I've got a good feeling about this. This is gonna work. This is not going to work. Out comes the core. That wasn't sped up, people. That was years of practice. Hmm, a little too small. I wonder. Careful. Oh well. I guess it's going straight in. Time for the spinima thing. Spinning the foam out seems to have left some error around the inner radius, so I've drilled a few extra holes just to make sure she's had her fill. 
I'll let this bread rise for, oh, 12 hours while I do it. See you in the morning. Well, somebody had an eventful night. You know the feeling, guys? speed run. I'll be honest with you folks, this was a bit of a joke. It was not supposed to work, but damn, it worked. Just to make sure, let's try it with a load of firewood. After all, that is this cart's purpose. This did not work. On to the next experiment. I picked this up on Marketplace on Curb Alert, with the door getting rusty and a smell of curry so strong I think it's baked into the plastic. I can think of one more job for it before old Danby here makes a trip to the bin bee. Okay, two more jobs. Aren't you a little curious? Me too, but first, a little safety. Some safety squints for a good measure. And a little vitamin steel in case something escapes and tries to get revenge on me. Oh, and one more thing. Had to run into the bedside table for these. Smells like movie theater popcorn butter and chicken tikka masala. Fifteen minutes ought to do it. Run, 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 run. Snacks. 12 minutes in and other than a holiday light show and a few wisps of smoke, not much to report. I'm shocked. 
I expected this to blow up instantly or something. Fourteen minutes and I'm gonna call it. There's a steady flame in there and I'm nervous that the propellant might be flammable, in which case this thing could just go off like a... Yoink. Ew. Sorry, honey. Whoa. Now that's some carnage. It looks like the valve is actually what failed. It melted or burned away until it failed under pressure. Gonna let this cool down for a bit and see if the foam still expands or if this is all I get. Not much expansion, but I'll leave it out overnight since the cool weather affects the expansion rate. Also, I forgot to shake the can for 60 seconds first. Won't make that mistake for the bonus clip. Wait, shotguns don't use clips. That's a bad pun. Also, this is going to be an environmental disaster. My grandkids are going to be pulling spray foam out of the gutters 100 years after I'm dead. And, while I don't have too many neighbors, the ones I do have own skittish dogs. This may require some precautions. I may only get one shot before someone comes a-hollering at me, so in the interest of accuracy, I'm going to tape the can to the inside of this huge box. It should contain the foam explosion, and I can just drill some holes in it so I can see from the outside where the can is. Here is the kill zone. I apologize in advance for the racket, but I'm going to leave Bessie here running full throttle with the blades on. Not because I think three spinning blades of death will make this safer, but it might mask the shotgun, and if anyone complains, I can just claim, hey, it was the old Kawasaki backfiring. Sorry about that, Jim. I make a lot of stupid decisions, but every once in a while, I do something really right. This box was a good call. Not bad since I haven't shot in 18 friggin' months. Thanks to COVID, that 20 gauge slug cost more than all the spray foam cans did. Now we gotta clean this up. Thanks for watching. This thing is ready to pop, and the foam inside has not hardened. I don't know what to do. Send help.